are you shopping for? Oh, you're all covered in sawdust. You'll be filthy. What are you doing, you fool? Hello and welcome. I've been having fun again, playing on my lathe. And what is what noise? Oh, another pussy cat. It's raining out. <laughs> Everyone's coming in. Hello and welcome. I've been having fun again, playing with my lathe. And today I've made a thing. I started with a log from Staghorn Rue and I've got it correct this time. This is a piece of staghorn which has a very dark centre core. So I started with a log very similar to this and I've made it into something that I think is quite lovely. You may not agree, I don't know. <laughs> Different to my usual bowls. What are you doing, Puscat? You interrupting my video? I'm not going to tell you what I've made. I'm going to let you watch the video and see if you can guess what I'm making. So here's the video of me turning a piece of staghorn rue branch into something fun on the wood turning lathe. See how long it takes you to guess what I'm making. Resist the temptation to write it in the comments when you guess what it is. That way, anyone else happening by the video can have the fun of guessing as well. So we'll see you when I'm all finished and you can see what it is. So here's my piece of wood all set up on the lathe and I'm starting with my spindle gouge. Having decided I'm going to start at that end of the piece of wood, I think I need to move my tool rest to a stronger position. More tool rest moving and chance to have a look at how that piece of wood is coming along. Not much happening yet. Using the skew chisel just to tidy up the end of this piece of wood, then back to work with the spindle gouge. wood grain starting to look lovely. Any guesses yet as to what it might become? Now things are really starting to take shape. I'm sure some of you have already guessed correctly what this is going to be.
Nice, I'm liking it. It's looking really good. Let's hope I don't make a mistake and spoil it now. This bit seems to take forever. I'm nervous now as it gets thinner and thinner. I don't want it to snap and break on me. So very gentle movements with my chisel to shave the wood away nice and slowly. Using the point of my skew chisel to give me a slight undercut on that domed piece. many dark green wood shavings. I'm happy I managed to get that thin bit without anything snapping on me. Yay! A struggle to move the tool rest. It's all blocked up with sawdust. Out with a hoover to suck up the mess. Well, a little bit of it anyway. Still a bit stiff but it can be moved. Reducing this end block just so there's a little less of it to cut through with the handsaw when I've finished this project. Now for a little sandpaper to really smooth things up for a beautiful finish. I'm going to use the coping saw to cut my project from its supporting block of wood. Use the speed of the lathe to do the cutting and I'll do my best to catch the piece. Hopefully without it breaking. Yay, we're free! A little sandpaper over the top to smooth it in. Lovely! And now for that bottom block of wood. I'm going to use the handsaw to saw that off. Like that. But not in mid-air. <laughs> Back in a second. There we go. All nicely sawn off. And here we have my finished piece. A little wooden mushroom. Did you guess what it was going to be? Well that was fun something a little different to making bowls and here's my finished little wooden mushroom its bottom all cut off and nice and smooth and its top where its little notch was all nicely sanded it's really pretty you can see all the wood grain effect from the piece of wood I love it it's gorgeous and as you see I still have another piece of branch left so I'll be able to make another mushroom to go with this one. Now I was inspired to make this little mushroom by another YouTuber, the Klondike Craftsman. So feel it only fair to link to his video in the description below if you want to go and watch a much better wood carver than me making little wooden mushrooms. So that's it for today. Bye for now and we'll see you next time. And remember, whatever you're doing, have fun doing it. If you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to click that like button and let me know. Click subscribe and YouTube will make sure you see my next video. So bye for now and we'll see you next time. And don't forget, whatever you're doing, have fun doing it.